Hello and welcome to a special edition of the Signals and Leaves podcast, the podcast all about podcasting. In this episode, I'm going to be doing a video instead of just my usual audio podcast, specifically because I want to show you how to use Audacity to clean up noisy audio. Now, if you don't have Audacity installed on your system already, it's an application that I highly recommend having around, whether or not you're already using another audio editor. Getting right to it, though, I have an existing audio file here. This is one that I recorded in the hallway of my home, right next to my home office, where the intake is for the heating and ventilation system. It's a very noisy little area of my house, unfortunately, which makes it difficult for me to record in my office sometimes. But through the magic of Audacity, we can take the noise from the background of this audio file and pretty much strip it out. Although it's not going to be perfect, it will be significantly better than what we started with. So I'm going to start by playing this for you real quick. Hi everyone, and welcome to a special edition of Signals and Leaves, the podcast all about podcasting. And as you can hear in the background there, there's this constant humming sound. It might not come through this video very well, but that sound is there. And don't worry if you can't hear it in the video. I'm going to have the original file and the edited file up on my blog later. And it'll be there so that you can hear the difference between the original and the updated version, having it all cleaned up. So now that I have my source file here, I'm going to go ahead and open this in Audacity. Here we can see the entire file with all of its content, including this beginning section right here that has all of the noise in it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in pretty, pretty far here, and I'm going to select some of this noise, and I'm going to play it real quick again just to make sure that this is the noise that I want to get rid of in my audio file. So playing that very briefly a couple of times, I can hear that that is generally the background noise the that I hear throughout the entire file. And that's the sound that I want to get rid of, whether or not it's happening here at the beginning or while I'm actually speaking inside of this podcast episode. So what I'm going to do inside of Audacity is use the noise removal effect. And so up in here in the effect menu, there is this noise removal option. But in order to use this, I actually have to do a couple of things first. You can see that when I opened up the noise removal, it actually selected the entire audio file in the background there. And that's definitely not what I want, because this is a two-step process. And the two steps are, first of all, you have to get the noise profile from a selection of audio in the file. And then once you have that, then you can apply the actual noise removal to the rest of the file. So I'm going to start by taking a selection of audio here. It doesn't really matter how much you get as long as you have a decent sampling of the actual noise. In one other audio file, for example, in a previous episode that I recorded with Craig McKeechee, I only had about half a second worth of audio noise that I could actually find inside of the file. But I selected that half a second and ran the noise removal process, and it did a really good job of cleaning it out of the rest of the file for me. In this case, I have almost a second and a quarter worth of noise here, but I don't quite need that much, so I'm just going to grab a small selection here. And once I have this selected, I'm going to go back up to the Effect menu, and I'm going to go to Noise Removal. And you can see that the selection that I had created is what is left here in the Audacity screen. Now that I have that in place, I'm going to hit Get Noise Profile. And this is going to take the selection of the audio that I had, and it's going to use that as the noise profile, the background noise to get rid of throughout the rest of the file. Now, having done that, I'm going to get rid of the selection in here so that, I, so that I don't have any of the file selected. And then I'm going to go back up to the noise removal tool. And since I had previously gathered a noise profile, I'm not going to worry about getting a specific selection of audio right here. I'm going to let Audacity select the entire file for me because I want to use the noise profile that I already have and remove all of that noise from the entire file. And to do that, all I really need to do is hit OK down here in the bottom right hand corner. I'm going to leave all of these options set to their defaults, and I'm going to remove the noise from the file. 
So when I hit OK, you can see it process, and you can see the end result in that there is a much smaller amount of noise. There's still a few bits here and here, and there might be a little bit of noise sticking out of the background of where I'm talking, but generally speaking, this is going to be a much cleaner audio set than what I previously had. So I'm going to go ahead and play this again real quick, and you'll be able to hear the difference between the original file and the noise that with the noise that it had and the updated file without all of that noise. Hi everyone and welcome to a special edition of Signals and Leaves, the podcast all about podcasting. Now you might be able to hear in the background that while I'm speaking there is just a tiny little bit of that noise left and you could go back and change the, the settings inside of the noise removal tool to try and clean that up a little bit more but I found that the more noise I remove the worse the audio quality gets so it's kind of a balancing act between getting rid of the noise and keeping the audio quality of my voice. You'll need to play with the settings to figure out exactly what works best for your scenario try different noise profiles, try different options inside of the noise removal tool, and figure out what works best. But I'm going to call this good enough, because frankly, it's not that much noise left inside of the audio, and it's really not a big deal to me to, to have just a tiny bit of noise in there. It certainly sounds a whole lot better than it used to. So that's pretty much it. That's the, the noise removal tool inside of Audacity. Once again, this is a tool that you really should have in your tool belt. It's definitely worth having around, at least for this noise removal process. But there's also some other tools inside of Audacity that are well worth using, especially if you're not yet willing to commit several hundred dollars to a larger and better audio processing suite. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out my blog at blog.signalleaf.com where I have a lot of other tips and tricks, as well as episodes on podcasting, to help you become a better podcaster.